So with John Daly to look ahead to Friday's game against UCD and react, of course, to the FAI Cup draw, which will see us travel to Finn Harps in a couple of weeks. John, firstly, just to reflect on the game in Derry, you've had 48 hours now to, to look back on the drama of the penalties and uh, a brilliant day for the club overall. Yeah, no, great day. Um, brilliant for the players, great for the fans. You know, everyone that travelled up, well supported. Um, we're obviously very pleased to go through. I've obviously watched the game back a couple of times now and... Um, I think over the piece we had probably had the better opportunities. We didn't have loads, but we, we certainly had the best of the opportunities. Um, you know, Dean had one one probably notable save from the header. Um, I think it was McGonagall's header. So, um, but yeah, we, we were pleased with the defensive display. I thought we we defended really well. We put our body on the lines for shots from distance, and um, but the penalty, when it goes to penalties, you just you just never know. Obviously, delighted for the players. I thought. Again, at the time, I probably didn't notice the reaction of some of their players when when our players were walking up, which I thought was you know poor. But um, it's probably part and parcel of you know trying to get through. They're they're obviously trying to intimidate our players, and I thought they they dealt with that very very well. Um, so it's something that that our lads will will learn from as well, you know. So um, delighted for them, um, and obviously delighted for everyone connected with the club. We all watched the quarterfinal draw together here in the office on, on Tuesday morning and a trip to Bally Buffet to face Finn Harps awaits for a place in the semi-finals. What did you make of the draw? And of course, it's going to be our third away game of this year's Cup competition yeah. as well. Yeah, well, I think you've just said it there. It's another away game. It's Away games are always difficult. Um, we've seen that when we went to Longford in the first, first round. Um, it was a tough game, so I expect um, very much the same. It's it's a fair old travel for us again. So... Um, you know, we obviously would have preferred a home draw, but we'll we'll just take what we get, and um, it's an opportunity to get through to a semi final. I think every team at this stage now will will fancy their chances. I think Finn Harps, obviously being the home side, will will look to get a big crowd behind them and try and cause an upset. I think we'll go into the game as favourites, um, but it's one that we'll we'll focus on when it comes round. We've got a couple of big games before that. Nine league matches left to go, John, so a full series beginning on Friday against UCD. We're currently four points off Shamrock Rovers at the top. Derry a point behind, Bowes a point behind, Dundalk not too far off either. How do you assess things heading into the final series? Yeah, it's obviously very close. I think even Shells are, aren't far behind, so um, I think it's going to be a very much the team that you know is the most consistent over the, the final piece that will we'll get where they need to get. And I think it obviously starts on Friday for us. It's important that we focus on that game and um, and just do what we've done kind of throughout the season. It's not look too far ahead. It's focus on one game at a time. And the next one is UCD. We've obviously got a big game there on Friday that we need to get three points from and um, and just see if that can, can get us that little bit closer to the top of the league. I know you watched both of UCD's cup games against Galway over the weekend. Of course, one of them was called off at half-time. Um, and that's the next challenge for yourself and the team but nice for you to be able to get physical eyes on them yourself as a manager as opposed to relying on video and stuff which at times is what you have to do and reports from scouts and stuff Yeah, well that's it we have obviously um, plenty of people that go and watch games and give us reports and, but I think it's nice to be able to see them first hand yourself um, the game itself obviously we, if you look at the result you, you think it's you know it's a big win for Galway but you know, four of the goals came from set players um, so on another day, they defend them set players, you know, better, and 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 they get a result, they get a one-one draw, or goes to extra time. So, you know, that's football. I think you have to you have to defend them situations. We obviously had that up in Derry where we defended 19 corners against a very physical team. So, um, it's important now that we try and go into this game against them and, and try and capitalise on any weaknesses that they may have. And just lastly, on, on UCD and on the opposition, the last time we were at the ball, a 3-1 win, we actually scored from three set-pieces in that game, and we had a comprehensive win here against them the last time, scoring seven, but they've shown in, in lots of games this season how competitive they can be, and, and you know your team will need to be on their game to try and pick up the three points. No, 100%. I think they um, they probably don't have as many points on the board as they possibly should. I think they're, they're a decent side, decent outfit. They've got some very good players in their team. Um, one thing about them is they never stop, they never give up. Um, you know, so it's something that we need to be mindful of. They have got players in the team that can hurt you. Um, so yeah, so I think it's, if it, we need to focus on ourselves and make sure that we we go there and play to our full capabilities and, and hope that that's enough for the night.